Well, if anyone wanted to update your Wikipedia, here you go. They have all the information they need. <laughs> what up, Fightful fam? Shaquille Majui here. And listen, I don't have to tell you who this guy is because he's running his way through the UFC. Marab Devalishvili. Uh, I told you I was going to mess it up, Marab, but I appreciate you so much for making the time. Uh, how are you, sir? I'm good, man. I'm good now. How are you? I'm good. Um, first of all, how are you feeling? I was watching Al Jermaine Sterling's uh, podcast, and, and I think I heard from him that uh, you're currently dealing with the virus. Are you feeling okay? No, I feel good. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, I had uh, COVID uh, before. I don't believe this one, but now when I get it, and I, I felt that was real. So now I feel good. But That's like, good. Ten days, I was sick, home, weak, and just. Yeah. Well, Marab, uh, well, the reason I ask, too, is because um, the first ever UFC event I covered in person was uh, UFC Ottawa, May 2018. And yeah. I'm so used to you being so energetic in your post-fight interviews to see you sort of yeah. calm and relax is new for me. I, I kind of talked to you a little bit about this. We talked to a bunch of Georgian fighters, Roman, Giga, um, and basically, when you kind of look back at 2020, I don't think there was a bigger year for any country than for Georgia, you know, or maybe uh, tw May 2019 was New Zealand and Australia, right. well, some years it's America, you know, back in the day, George St. Pierre in Canada. Uh, I guess my first question for you, Marab, is what do you think the Georgian fighters have discovered that maybe some of the other countries haven't yet? No, I mean, Georgians fighters, uh, I mean, we don't have many fighters, but whatever we have, they are talented, mm -hmm. they are warrior, and they have a fighting hard, and they're fighting hard, and now, like, uh, we are we are six UFC fighters in UFC, six Georgian fighters in UFC, and we all doing good, and um, that's, uh, uh, meh. This is your answer. So, um, I mean, I'm I'm happy for my 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 friends and my 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 country boys and all. Liana Georgia, they they doing all they all doing good and um, yeah, I'm 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 happy for them and like when I watch them, I'm I'm more happy than I, uh, for myself, you know, because. Um, yeah, we are small, small country, and then uh, yeah, we we have a big heart, and we are warriors. For sure. Can you tell me a little bit about the evolution of MMA in Georgia? Because for the North American audience, it seems like it kind of happened out of nowhere. But what has the process of uh, mixed martial arts been like in Georgia? Mixed martial arts, it's a new sport, like. Uh, like everywhere mm -hmm. and um, um the yeah the 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 people training it means martial arts but to be calm professional and to be uh, like uh, to be fight top level you have to you need the time so which is hard because let's say like um we have a lot of wrestlers, a lot of kickboxers, a lot of boxers, mm -hmm. or even MMA fighters. We who are they really talented? If they keep doing what they doing, uh, they will become very, very, very good mixed martial artists. But problem is, let's say, 22 year old, which is just retired from wrestling. He was doing all life, and he's strong, but. Now, if, if he competes in new sport like MMA, he mm -hmm. needs time to, to. He has to win amateur fights. He has to do like at least five, six fights in in pro, which takes time and and uh, you need to um, time. You need sponsors or something like that. So you need the enthusiasm to do all this. So like. And uh, it's hard to do it, but uh, some of them do it. Uh, whoever does and whoever like, who loves MMA and who loves fighting and who who wants, if they do, and they will become successful. 
because they really are talented in Georgia. Obviously, you've been training in America for quite a, a long time now. Sarah Longo, Aljamain Sterling, uh, you guys are the Ally Quinta. It's a very tight knit team. Um, but do you know what the attitude of MMA li- is like right now from the general public in Georgia? Are they starting to understand what mixed martial arts is? Because Giga was telling me how sometimes they would play uh, his kickboxing highlights and they would call those UFC and he's laughing. He's sitting there like, it's not even mixed martial arts, let alone UFC. Uh, does the country of Georgia and its citizens now have a better understanding of what mixed martial arts is? The country, uh, so basically, even even it's it's a country. Of course, uh, they don't know exactly what uh, which what is mixed martial arts because even here in America, when people tell me, yeah. oh, like you are, what, what do you do? I, when I say I'm, um, or somebody say this guy is a professional fighter or a sportsman and something like that, and they 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 ask me what do you do? I said I do, I'm a UFC fighter. And they said, what? I said, I'm a <laughs> professional mixed martial artist. They said, what is this? I said, they asked me, this is boxing? I said, this is not a boxing. This is MMA. This is mixed martial arts. They don't understand. And I, I have to tell, you know, Conor McGregor? They said, yes. There you and go. <laughs> and then I do same thing. This is MMA, UFC, same. So same is our country. Like, uh, let's say we when we go our country like usually they they invite us uh, like everybody happy like for us and everybody uh like but uh, the, they invite us national tv right there is a couple mm-hmm. national tv but the journalists they not like they are journalists but they not specific like they you know they everybody knows soccer mm-hmm. everybody knows rugby or basketball but no one really knows MMA and how it's work out, and like they think it's like a, it's like a, like wrestling is different because you're representing country. Yeah. Help, country helps you. You have to win a national championship, and after you represent in your country, and, and the country do everything for you. So like they don't understand like what is this like because it's like, um, you know, like UFC is one of those organizations which is like. Um, best organization and more money and they ask they ask us like what what's different between mma and ufc they don't even know i know they, I you know, know mma is everything so but i understand that that's journalist problem you know like they, they don't have like they should prepare better when you go national tv and yeah. they ask you some question Agreed. they should know but now like let's say even you like maybe you don't know to like uh like some sports rules, right? Yes, and if you in, sure. if you interview if you interview the uh, hockey player, maybe you don't know exactly, yeah. you know, like what you ask. So that's what happened. They, you know, they don't know MMA. The journalists, and maybe they popular, but you know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so that's the problem. But like uh, the like the but Georgian Georgian people, they love. Um, sports they love mixed martial arts they they are warriors and they the most important most popular sport is judo wrestling mm-hmm. and uh like a lot of people play karate or like um, sambo and like this you know? if i had if you had to guess how many years until you have to stop explaining to people what you do for a living People, Time. I have to explain all, all my life, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know. I just, people, I just tell yeah, people I'm in yeah. sports media, so they don't ask me any questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like people, but I mean, if if somebody loves sport and they know something about sport, then that's for easy. Sure. And I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't even have to explain now. That's like, but even my brother. Like he lives in Georgia, he's a pilot, and he asks me sometimes questions, something like, "Please, just like, like, yeah, like they don't know it's different, you know, like they ask some uh, because they don't know this much because it's uh, it's a new sport, you know? for sure. Um, as we begin to wrap up here, Marab. Uh, I myself was born in Canada, but my parents immigrated from Iran, and so I, I always love to hear about uh, people's lives growing up in other countries. Would you be t- willing to share a little bit about what life was like for you growing up? 
I born in uh, Georgia. My village name is Vani, oh. and uh, which is small, small like village, like uh, like. Uh, it's like we was like a farmers like we have a cows uh, chicken chickens and um, like we was doing farms like um, uh, corns and like something like this and i was very i was outside all the time i was waking up and play outside with the little kids and like always outside I was going home and sleep and wake up and running and uh, running outside, climb the trees, eat eat apples and uh, cherries from the tree, and and I was I was swimming in the river before I learned to swim. I almost <laughs> died, you know, like a couple of times. But uh, like, and I was I was growing the street. I was wrestling, fighting in the street, and doing some stuff and. I, when I was nine year old, I moved in capital city, mm-hmm. and uh, that right. time also like uh, economic wasn't mm. good uh, because like oh, because uh, oh, 1991 we had a war with Russia. Russia mm-hmm. tried again occupied us, and uh, also that time we had, that's where like we was nine. 1991 we left the Senegal Union and mm-hmm. then like we was um independent country and that was we started everything from zero and the economic was very bad at that time and but uh, 2003 we have a new government everything changed the country we have a good police uh, and everything everything started going to normal everything was democracy mm-hmm. and no corruption and uh, i started sport and uh, um, i turned to i was a very bad kid i was fighting street i was fighting school yeah. and yeah i came to good 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 guy and uh, i was uh, competitive judo and sambo and i stopped i, sp- I stopped spending time uh, street and I was just training school and stay home, yeah. stay out of trouble. And uh, yeah, I ended up uh, when I was 22, I came here, USA. I came more, even more smart, and be- I started work and training. And uh, I had, I had, because I have a goal to become a UFC fighter and uh, to do all this, I have to have. Uh, smart work and uh, disciplined and I did all this and uh, yeah. yeah so yeah. now I'm not working anymore I am a full-time UFC fighter and um, and life is good I'm just training and uh, chasing my dream Love and, it. Uh, yeah well if anyone wanted to update your Wikipedia here you go. They have all the information they need. <laughs> and I, I love what martial arts yeah. can do for people. Um, Marab, last question as we begin to wind down here. Um, are there any fighters from outside the UFC representing Georgia that people should keep an eye out for? I know at least one of them because I talked to them. Uh, yeah, Zuyad Lazishvili. He's ready to go UFC. And uh, uh, one one is top of my head. His name is Raul Tutarauli. He's yes. ready to go. Yeah, he's uh, this guy is animal, and um, uh, like there is more guys, but like uh, yeah, they, uh, I mean, they they will be one one day you see like they they need more fights or like something like that. And I'll be there soon. Okay. Yeah, future. I want to do something like um, after I retire or a couple of years later. I wanna build some gym in Georgia oh. and uh, yeah so I want to help like Georgian fighters to uh, training good and training smart and to fight a big 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 level that's a phenomenal goal and I, I'm happy to yes. hear that you're going to bring that back to Georgia with you um, thank you Marab is there anything you want to let the people know about yourself uh, Georgia any fights being rescheduled anything you want to let people know before we wrap up 
So nothing really. I'm just training hard now. I don't have a fight yet, but um, hopefully uh, UFC will give me uh, soon because I'm ready. I just get her from COVID, but I'm ready to go. And uh, uh, yeah, you guys will see my fight soon. And then we have five more Georgians. My I'm happy for my friend Aljama Sterling. He's fighting for title March 6th and he's going to come. American Jamaican UFC champion and uh, yeah he's he's I mean I'm 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 so happy for him you know he, he deserves it and then uh, I can't wait. Perfect. Okay, guys. Well, uh, that's all we have for today. Please, if you want to see the full article with all the Georgian fighters we talked to, head over to Fightful.com. Uh, we'll have a link below. Also, check out the video interview with Giga Chikadze. Um, if you want to help us do what we do here. You can smash people like Marab, but instead of the cage, please slam the subscribe button. That does a lot for us. Hit the like button as well, notification bell, all that good stuff. Marab Devalishvili, thank you so much for making the time today, and uh, good luck whenever your next fight is booked. Thank you. Thank you for having me, man. Okay.